snake reverses, it means it's very confused. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to answer that hmm. because that could be a snake call out. It prints there. Do you want to an answer there for yeah, me, please? Yeah, We've got yeah, an yeah. iPhone. Yeah. Just, just answer it there for me. If it's an emergency. Yeah, because I'll name it. We cut out. Huh. Can't believe the snake. What snake has Prince given me today? <laughs> <laughs> the hole's very, very obscured here. We'll get it right now. I need to, to see what that call is as well. Snake. So now to cobras have got a neurotoxin, a nerve a affecting cell. venom, so it will paralyze <laughs> and then kill yeah, reasonably fast, not slow like with a worm slung. This one can kill within a half an hour to an hour and a half, well. depending on the situation of the bite and the person. Prince? No. What? No, it's okay. Well, who was the call? Where's He's calling back. He's calling back. Yeah, there, there was a number in the street. Oh, no, we don't have to call back because if it was an emergency, they wouldn't uh, cut it, I don't think. Okay, it's no matter. We can't force the snake to do something. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, oh. no, he doesn't see the hole. As soon as he sees the hole, he's going to want to go in there. Um, but it's obviously very confusing for the snake. But as soon as it realizes oh, yeah. there's a place to escape, no matter what, even if I grab it, it's going to want to go ah, in there, <laughs> not out here. It's realized that is an immediate escape, an immediate place to hide, much better under there than out here with me hanging and holding and pulling it out of boxes. And that's what snakes do. They try and get away from us. They try everything in their power to get away from us, um, no matter what, you see. So there it's under there, and that's pretty cool that they do this. But also be dangerous this is not its home this could be a toy it happened on a farm a young boy eight years old young boy playing with his toys on the farm outside the kitchen door on the grass um, mother's watching through the window and calls the boy in for lunch goes inside half an hour he has lunch comes out again to play with his toys and under one of the toys is a big cobra he lifts up this uh, tractor trailer thing and under the, the toy is a big cobra <sighs> can you imagine what this boy uh, uh, yeah. thought so he doesn't expect this because he comes back from lunch he's all excited to carry on playing and he sits right here in front of his toys with this big cobra underneath and lifts it up what is the result let me show you so he's about to lift it up he hasn't got a stick he's a young boy and he lifts it up and I'm Wah! he screams his dad working in the garden comes running my boy are you okay he says daddy no this big snake nearly bit me okay, and dad catches a fright so dad comes to the snake and goes shoo go away whoa that's what the snake does to dad so dad is afraid mm -hmm. the grandfather is in the house watching television comes running out says what's all the shouting he says dad there's a snake and this grandfather lives on the farm for a long time he knows how to kill snakes he's got a special stick that he uses for killing snakes called a nopkiri, a straight stick with a ball in the end and uses it for killing snakes, goes and fetches this. The mother is in the kitchen screaming, Wah, watch out, Wah. and the, f the grandfather comes out and he's now a little bit afraid because it's a big snake. So he's like forwards and back and he's, he's not sure. And then he thinks a plan. He says, okay, I'm going to walk slowly to get behind. So when I'm behind the snake, I can just kill it. So granddad walks around. Oh, ha, yeah. He can't get behind it because the snake follows him you see wow. so now granddad's thinking oh i have to kill it so he says okay i'm just going to do it because people are expecting his family is expecting him to kill it very dangerous situation so he rushes towards it and he's like, whoa and it does that so granddad drops his stick he bounces away the snake is there the boy is crying the father's uh, shouting the mother's screaming can you imagine the situation are you understanding what i'm trying to yeah. explain are you still doing <laughs> madness <laughs> now let me show you what happens here that snake was cornered because he doesn't know where to escape mm -hmm. that's why it stands up not chasing not attacking not even trying to bite no watch again granddad comes close granddad disturbs it and the snake does a mock pretend watch again we are don't move my foot it stops short you see how interesting this is it's actually 
far from biting but the perception is aggression danger whoa you see what i'm saying but far from biting that's so interesting what this family should have done is my boy step away everybody move away is what they eventually did with the mother screaming get away from the snake get away from the snake she's crying hysterical so the boys all move away and the snake settles down and moves quickly into the grass gone and they never saw it again but it's all this behavior and whoa so so dangerous okay um watching me now would you like to stand up for me please just stand up and walk that way next to the chair see if it sees you there it sees you now uh, but it's a bit of a can't move more um why don't you walk a complete circle that way just circle? yeah just go all the way around and behind oh. me watch the snake see if it sees you there it sees you go 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 yeah just carry on going that's a good distance and yeah that sees you again and you can go behind me and go around back to your seat that way and the safe distance that way again so it's watching you all the way around watching watching pretty intimidating a little bit scary when you know it's watching yeah. just you what is going to happen next if you don't understand the animal it can be very intimidating is why so many people are much more afraid of this snake than any other snake because of its behavior yet it's far from biting all you need to do is to step away from it give it space it will move away i'm not going to do that because this one has to be released out into the bush somewhere i'm going to grab it behind the head in order to get it into the box it's a big strong snake i can't just put it into the box it will keep coming out yeah. now because i need to grab it behind the head i would like to give you guys the opportunity to touch it Okay, this is the only venomous snake that I will allow for you to touch. You've already touched the non-venomous snake. So let's feel what this one feels like. So, for me to catch it, I can't just put my hands in there. Um, mm -hmm. That could be dangerous. Even though it's mock striking, we don't take a chance. I need to get the tail. I grab it with a stick gently and grab it away from the reproductive area. I now need to get it behind the head. So, in this way, I allow the snake to reverse in the stick. And at that point when it's safe there I grab it without pinching on the snake and clamping tightly on it because that will hurt the snake and it will then retaliate and make it unmanageable wow. now that I have it correctly <coughs> in my fingers yeah. holding it in a very special way that snakes like this should be held I can bring it around you'll hear the hissing it's hissing and you can touch and feel that part of its body so feel here Feel the movement you can put your hands around the snake if you want to you can feel the movement of it the muscle of it not as strong as a python but nonetheless it's muscle very smooth on the belly compared to the back the other hissing eh? it's yeah it's so pretty yeah and a very special it's really soft yeah an interesting feel